Welcome back to episode 5 of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 Catholic France as me, Charlotte, from CSC Gaming Factory. Where we left the last episode off was um, we were waiting for basically for our son to grow up, um, our second son. Um, and other than that, it's been a fairly calm game so far. We have our uh, uh, Chancellor over here, you know, uh, trying to fabricate some claims. Since our eldest, or sorry, our youngest son is over with this guy here in uh, Nabon, we c we should, you know, try not to uh, make him too upset with us. So, you know, we're just um, we're not we're not fabricating any claims on his his land. And other than that, it's really not that much been going on. Oh, look, our court chaplain is not doing anything um how do our bishops like us let's have a quick look here um jacques May, he's okay with us and he is yes yeah, so they, they could both use some improvement and he this is this is the 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 bishop of uh, our our county of foire so we're gonna send him over to the other bishop, and they can talk together a little bit, and you know, make make sure that they both like me, because I want their tax money. Um. Oh, okay. I am actually getting the tax money because they don't like the new pope, Pope Innocent the Second. That's a terrible name. Uh, but yeah, they don't like him. So I am actually even with was it thirty eight opinion? Yeah, versus thirty six. But we don't want, you know, the pope to come in and send his men over here so we're gonna do it anyway um we're on our third wife second wife so, yeah technically third because our our firstborn son doesn't have a mother she was probably some lady so let's unpause it and uh see where this takes us um so we have uh hold on why can we on behalf of our son is that because of his... Oh, because of... Oh. Yeah, no, I'm not going to be claiming anything from the Holy Roman Empire just now. Oh my god. My second son became a great eminence. Oh. But no, we're actually going to stick with our first son anyway. But that's awesome. Uh, good job. We'll see if we can marry him off to somebody for some alliance. Um, Princess of Castile, we already have alliance with them, so we don't need it. Princess of Hungary, uh, Princess of Navarra might be beneficial. Croatia, there's a lot of courtiers. Yeah, we don't. Well, I guess we do want to start looking at alliances with maybe dukes in our, our nearby area. Um, our liege got disposed of by the king after he tried to rebel. So, um, let's see if we have any dukes. Can I actually, hold on, hold on, can I actually, I don't think I can create the county, but it's worth a shot, right? Uh, county, Duchy of Toulouse. There is nobody who has it, so if I can get, I need two more counties. Oh, I need those, that, that second, those two more counties and that I can create that duchy and hopefully the king. Actually, I should probably also make the king my best buddy. Um... I do not. Oh my god, he is so greedy. Can I send a child to him to be educated? Um, let's see. There we go. And she's gonna get crap stats, but let's do it anyway. All right. So that at least takes care of that. Now he is a count. We want there's no dukes, dukes here either. Now how I can tell that there's no dukes is that the dukes have like a little blue ribbon ac across. Um, where are all the dukes? Hold on. I'm, there we go. So this guy has two duchies and and oh, he's he's doing oh he's he's betrothed to my daughters. So that's good. We'll we'll keep that as is. Now he has some sisters, but we are already can get alliance out of that, so um so that's him again. Um Ooh. Hmm. Everybody's already married. Bah. Give me your daughter's siblings. She's already married. She's dead. That's not gonna, you know, help much. Let's have a look here. Him. They're fairly young here. 
siblings. One year old. That's gonna take a long time. Now I'm gonna try to try to try to not, you know, declare too many wars in this game. So it's gonna be um, a game of me trying to intermarry as much as possible and getting alliances and safety that way, as opposed to having a military strength. So yeah, it's gonna be a little bit different. But I do want to get to that duchy or the duke state, so or du duke level, so I can start doing some more politics between uh, you know me and the other dukes, and maybe overthrow the king that way. So, oh, he's got a daughter, and she's married. Bah. Hold on. Um, let's see. I don't see anybody here really that um is appealing to me. He has, he has a 12 year old, but the thing is we're going to be taking over that county anyway. So I really don't want an alliance with him because then I get a penalty if I attack. So yeah, what does the king have? Does he have any daughters? He does. Six years old. Can we uh, arrange a betrothal between her and Antoinette? Her and our... No! Why not? Oh. Nope. Oh, he's considering another offer. Okay, let's, that's the, um, education. All right. Oh, he will. Okay, awesome. All right, so we'll do that. And that way we'll get our second son into, into the house cafe. Okay, so he's going to have to wait off... <laughs> Poor guy. He's gonna have to wait 10 years, but oh well. There you go. He really doesn't like me. Sorry. It's for the best of the family. You'll thank me later. So I think our kids are pretty well off then. Uh, there's not really much we can do. We gotta wait for this guy, our, our chancellor, to fabricate that claim. This guy happens to be our son. And she likes a guardian. Alright. Educate child. We're gonna go with high intrigue again. Let's let's see how the royal family is doing. His stats are actually well, his traits are horrible, but his stats are actually not bad. Um his eldest son? No. She's dead. So she actually has some really good stats there. But no, uh, I don't want him to be. Oh, her to become a different, uh, a different uh, culture or religion. So um, we're gonna educate her ourselves, I think. Oh, shall I send it? I'm gonna. S no, they have really low intrigue. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it myself. I want my daughters to have high intrigue. So and then I'm gonna try and keep good, um, a good relationship with them. So that they will help me kill people in high places. Um, <laughs> Daddy, where's mum? <laughs> oh, I have a two-year-old and a four-year-old, and it's generally that question here. It's like, or well, ask mum. It's also very popular. Let's have a look. Mum has gone on a long journey. Oh, she is missing her biological mum. Uh. Yeah, I like that one. So she became patient. That's good. She's waiting for her mum to come back from that long journey. That's going to be an awesome, uh, awfully long journey. All right. So let's um, once. Oh, cool. I'm cupbearer. I was hoping. I just saw the demand duchy from Liege, and I was hoping that we would uh, get the a duchy, but no. Um, we're gonna tell her about kindness. And I think what we're gonna do is hold a feast. All my, all my oh, I got four vessels now. Um, I'm gonna do it myself. It's a, a lot of good stats to be getting. And I'm actually gonna give her the clear sighted uh, trait because that's plus two um, intrigue, which will help her kill people. Um, and I'm actually going to leave that plot over there. I will spend lavishly on food since I have no entertainment. So I invite all four of my vassals. And I got some money. Awesome. 
Oh, so he's created the Duchy of Toulouse. Has he given it to anyone? He has not. So he is now... Duchy. Yeah, he's got it. Um, let's try... We don't have enough money. You are so demanding! You know, I had 170 some dollars or gold that you wanted. Um... <clears throat> the food was great. Awesome. That's nice. Thank you. I, I did try to make it nice. Well, he's a bishop. How, why do I expect him to drink a lot of wine? Oh, well, apparently I'm insulted. And I'm insulted again. Always great. Um, I don't have Gregarious, so I will uh, join them. And I will get, get the kind trait. The acrobats perform somersaults, cartwheels, and tumbles with great skill during the course of my feast. One of them arrived in a chest seemingly too small to hold a person. I hope he didn't dislocate his shoulder. Um, so he liked the acrobats I guess and everybody had a good time. Yay! And I have fantastic uh, traits now apart from arbitrary. <laughs> so he loves us. Yes, perfect. A hundred. Let's send... Oh, how's the... Oh. How's the bishop doing? Let's see. Oh, everybody loves us right now, so we'll send him over to Rome to improve relationships over there. There we go. We still have nothing on this this count. Oh. They want to appoint me Chancellor, and I have... Oh, well, I guess. Sure, I will become Chancellor. I, I now would like you to give me that duchy, my liege. Please. Let's send him over there and see if we can fabricate claims over there. Because he's creating all these duchies. And I should have... Uh, yeah, see, I have a negative 20 opinion uh, modifier against the king because I desire the duchy of Toulouse. Plus my liege is excommunicated. But that's... That I can't do much about. I Hopefully he doesn't convert to a heresy. Oh, that would be so horrible. Oh, what happened? He had a, a betrothal. What happened? Oh man, did she die or something? That's 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 a shame. All right, so let's go through the list and see who we got. We're gonna marry for stats with him because I want to have a good, you know, I want to try breathing some good kids. So he's already twenty-seven. I don't want to wait too much longer. Eva Pisa, uh, she's not bad. She's orthodox. Um. We can demand religious conversion once she comes over. Um, brave chapel. Yeah, 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 not bad, not bad. There's somebody blinded down there. Let's see. Sort by diplomacy. Would they already do that? Sort by stewardship, because that's where he's lacking skill. Um, okay. I think she's a good, uh, good fit. She's got decent stats, apart from intrigue, which might be a good thing. We get no alliance from this marriage, but uh, but it will hopefully breed in the strong trait. Um, should we go for the money or the prestige? We'll go for the money. All right. Now, what I'm going to try and do is. Um, he kind of likes me. Can I? I'm gonna send all my money to him. Two hundred and five gold. All right. And then I'm gonna try this. Um, uh, all right. Well, let's just try and demand the duchy from Alish. Let's see how that goes. Oh, disappointing. Oh well, as my mom says, you have you have a no and you can get a yes. So, not the end of the world. I hopefully I was hoping that giving him that money would have helped persuade him. Um, he's still engaged. Let's take a look. I see down here. I saw that earlier that this got taken over by Muslim countries. That's Barcelona. So we're gonna have to. Well, we can soon start attacking. It's just problem with the Muslims is that they are so intermarried. 
Although this guy has no allies, but his leash is... Let's see. Yeah, see his leash is um, the Emirate of Mallorca. And I don't want them to get involved. I, I don't have the man- we don't have the manpower. So, we'll just tick along and see. Now all my daughters- oh, okay, not all of my daughters are betrothed yet, so- Oh, who is she? Where? Okay, so that's the girl from her first marriage. Can I arrange a marriage? Invite to court. Uh, no reason to move, doesn't matter. She is unimportant. Unless she has good stats. No, she doesn't. So. Um, we got to talk to our daughter about be like being diligent. That was Juliana, right? She did not gain the trait. That's a shame. That's one of the bad things of if you ever end up playing as a female ruler is you can never go out on a hunt to get the diligent trait. Oh, the hashish smokers are harmless. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, so is she pregnant yet? No, she's not. Get pregnant, woman. We need offspring. She is now nine, so poor guy still has to wait a few years. Um. We will welcome these hedge knights with a lavish feast, of course. They're out there in the world protecting uh, us against the evil of the Muslims. Uh, the hedge knights have participated in a minor tournament together with an, our knights in Paris. Sadly, one of those landless vagabonds have been severely injured. We'll pay for some medicine. That's okay. And tonight, oh, today's um, beverage is tea, of course. Hot, but not Earl Grey. Sure, we'll go for minimal city ta taxes, that's fine. Uh, yes, we have. We have a claim. We have a claim. We have a claim. Oh, he's actually kind of good stats. Anyway, um, let's check how many troops he has. We are directly under our liege, so... He has 948 and we have... Should have just done it here whilst I was here. 1415. We're going to use it. Alright. So you can go over there. Alright. Um, and yeah, in the next episode, we are going to take the county of Rueg? Something like that. Um, so if you enjoyed watching this, please hit the subscribe button and YouTube will let you know when there's a new episode out. Um, I would really be honored if you, if you did. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.